Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about two different ways to be able to do image selection as well as previews. And one is going to be a lot easier uh, and the other is going to be a little more intermediate uh, around grids. But at the end of the day, you're going to have times where you aren't quite sure what kind of image you want to select or what kind of image you're going to need to produce. And you just want a few samples to be able to choose from. Uh, I'm going to be showing you again two methods of doing this and uh, the ultimate goal is for you to be able to create the best content possible in the most efficient way possible. So the first way is going to be a very uh, easy custom node. Uh, I want to show basically how we set this up and I'm going to also point you to uh, where you can go to download this and I'll have links in the uh, description area of the video as well. But essentially, first of all, we want to be able to set up our our general workflow. Um, I've been using this uh, efficiency uh, loader and case sampler now uh, for a week or two now. It's going to be much more efficient than the normal standard case sampler and uh, model loaders. Uh, it is a download you'll have to do to set it up. Again, you can do that in your Comfy Manager. Uh, but by doing so, you'll see that it's very, very easy to hook up and there's no uh, impact to your performance at all. So uh, you can see here even how easy you're going kind of basically model to model, your positive and negative conditioning, your latent VA, et cetera. It just kind of links directly across very quick. You do your model selection. You can do a uh, custom VAE if you want, your clip skips, et cetera, even a LoRa, no big deal. Uh, and then onto the case sampler, you can see most of the items here you will want to uh, include. I like to pipe them out. Uh, into separate boxes because then I can use these boxes elsewhere if I'm doing multiple image generations to do compositing or other more advanced techniques. Um, by default, they'll just pop in here, but I like to pipe them in. So you can see your steps and your scene and all the normal things you need to do a sampler are here. But it's just very, very easy to connect up and also pass through to other areas of your workflow. So I have my loader set up with my model, my uh, case sampler setup, my parameters. Uh, we're going to be doing a uh, kind of a very easy prompt here of uh, a man eating ice cream at a carnival during the daytime. And, you know, I don't really know what I want yet. I uh, just want a few images to be able to select from. So I'm going to create over here the batch size is equal to three. And this batch size parameter, by the way, if you're not using the efficiency loader, is typically in your uh, empty latent. Uh, you can have a, a batch size there. It does the same exact thing again for efficiency sake. It's all in one place, which is very nice and efficient. So we're going to do this and we're going to generate this uh, prompt. Uh, and then I'm going to show you this cool little module we found to select. So I'm going to queue this up. Okay, so we're all done generating. You can see we have three different images that were generated in that batch. By the way, three is not the magic number. You could put it uh, up as high as you want. Of course, the more batches uh, you do, uh, batch numbers, the longer it's going to take you to render. And of course, many other factors uh, will impact your speed as well. How many steps, uh, what kind of sampling you're doing, what's the resolution of the images, etc. cetera. Uh, but in this case, in this example, we have three different images. You know, I, you know, let's just say I really like this image the best, number three. So, you know, of the three, I want to be able to use and process this one further. So now the question is, well, how do I pull this out of the batch? And there's this great little node called uh, image selector. So if I go here, double click and I say image selector, I can bring that in. And it's a very simple interface here. You want to connect up your image. And this has all the images right from your batch. And then you just want to specify which one you want to do. And you can do multiple, by the way, if you wanted to process multiple. But in this case, we're just going to use image number three. Uh, and then from here, you can then bring it down. If you uh, want to be a little bit fancier, you can use an, a preview bridge. Uh, that will let you then work on it further. Or you can just use a, a standard preview. They do the same thing. And if you re-render it again, of course, only that single image comes through and you're ready to rock and roll. One final note about how to install these custom nodes. So if you go to your Comfy Manager here, 
uh, you can go and uh, go into your custom nodes list. And then if you search for selector, for example, or efficiency, you can obviously learn more by clicking each of the uh, items here. Uh, or you can then go, if it's if it's not installed yet, it'll just say install, like down here. You click on that and you restart Comfy, both the web browser as well as the console, right? Uh, and then it will then be available.